Today we'll be learning how to make an old fashioned. Hey everybody, my name is Michael. I'm a cocktail bartender at Polly Bar in Fitzroy in Melbourne. And today we will be learning how to make an old fashioned. We'll be using the traditional recipe of bitters, sugar syrup with a one to one part ratio of sugar to water and a whiskey of your choice. Here at Polly Bar, when a customer orders an old fashioned, the first thing we do is ask them do they like it smoky or sweet. If they like it smoky, we offer them a nice scotch. If they like it sweet, we're going to offer them a nice bourbon. These are the tools that you're going to need as well. Let's get straight to it. So the first thing we're going to be doing when making an old fashioned is making sure that drinking glass is nice and ice cold. So what we will be doing, just adding a bit of ice. A little bit of a trick we use at Polly is we keep our glasses in the fridge. The second thing we'll be doing is making a garnish. So what we need in this case is an orange peel. You can use an orange wedge if you're a little bit lazy as well, but in order to get the essential oils from the peel, it's a little bit easier with the garnish. So we'll store that for later, and then we'll get to the cocktail. So in this case, we'll be using a bourbon, as I like my cocktail sweets. I'm a sweet guy, what can I say? So we're using Old Forester. It was actually the first bourbon to be bottled, which is pretty impressive. So what the recipe calls for is 60 ml of whiskey, your chosen whiskey, straight into that mixing glass. Then it calls for 10 ml of sugar syrup. If you like it a little bit sweeter, add maybe 2 to 5 ml, so 12 or 15 ml of sugar syrup. And if you like it a little bit not as sweet, at only five to seven mil. So everything is by your taste. Adding that in there. Putting everything back. And so the recipe calls for bitters as well. What I like to do personally is add one dash of Angostura bitters and then two dashes of orange bitters. That way you get a really nice um, orange tinge to the drink. And then we're going to add ice. A bit of ice just went on the floor, that's fine. Push it away like it didn't happen. Make sure there's as much ice as possible. I see a lot of bartenders, they're putting maybe just a little bit of ice, but that comes with experience because the less ice you put, the quicker that drink is going to dilute. So the more ice, the easier it is to control. So now we're going to need our mixing spoon. Chuck that right in there. And typically for an old fashioned, you want to under stir it because you're pouring this straight onto an ice cube. So as you drink the old fashioned in the glass, the first uh, minute compared to the 10th minute of that drink is going to have a different water dilution. It's going to have a different taste. So even if you just give it a little bit of a stir, I normally do it by feel. When that mixing glass goes nice and ice cold and by look, you're looking about 30% more of the drink level. Um, so what we're gonna do then is dumping our ice, adding our big block of ice. If you don't have blocks at home, you can definitely just use normal ice as well. The more ice you put, the less it's going to dilute, the better it's going to taste. So feel that. So what we're going to use is a paper straw and trying the drink. Mm. So you want the ethanol level to be a little bit stronger in this case as well. As we're pouring it onto ice, one final stir, grabbing our strainer and pouring that straight on. This is my favorite thing about a bartender. The most beautiful sight ever. 
Now we're grabbing our garnish. And so what we're gonna do here is squeezing all those essential oils onto the top of the drink as when you go to uh, drink it, you're gonna get that aroma of orange and it's gonna change that flavor of the drink. So squeezing all edges and also giving a rim around the glass there. So when it touches your lips, you're gonna get that orange, the beautiful flavor as well. This is what changes just drinking whiskey with a bit of sugar to having an old fashioned cocktail. Definitely the best cocktail out there. Give that orange a little stir on the side and for service to make it a little bit nicer on a nice napkin, push it out to your guest and watch as they try and go wow, which is what I'm going to do right now. Oh, delicious. Thanks guys, we'll see you in our next video.